Hello, and welcome back to another episode. First of all, I'd like to interrupt just to say that the fan in here is gonna be on because the lighting sucks without it. So, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I love you so much, and if you are new, I still love you a lot, and I appreciate you for clicking on this video. My name is Michaela. We have a lot of fun here. Today, we're gonna be getting ready for absolutely no reason. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my makeup, like full makeup. I haven't put a full piece of makeup on since like September of last year. Correction, it was June of last year. Like actually, it's long overdue. I'm gonna curl my hair, braid my hair, do something like cute with my hair and see where the day takes us, honestly. It's uh, 6.02 right now and I have nothing better to do. I don't have a car because it had to get towed. We'll get into that later though. I wanna show you the setup, look. This tripod is sitting on top of this pot right here. That is how we're getting the angle right. I don't have an extendable tripod. So that's gonna have to work. There we go, good, perfect, okay. But yeah, let's get into it. First, I feel like I should get into a little life update. I think the last time I updated anybody was my last video. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a job. I was still unemployed and I was waiting for a response from the job that I did end up getting. I got it and I like it. I'm not full-time yet, I'm still part-time. It's eight to five. It's a dramatic lifestyle change. Okay, I went from working from four o'clock in the afternoon until three in the morning, four in the morning, sometimes now I have to wake up at like 6 a.m. to get to work and I work until 5 o'clock in the afternoon it was almost the opposite where like at the time the Sun was setting as I was getting to work and now the Sun is rising as I'm getting to work it's very fun I get to do a lot of things that I like doing right now I'm focusing on a lot of like admin stuff like answering the phones it's starting to go into a lot of marketing which is fun because that's literally what I do and that's what I was going to college for it's just cool to know that I didn't have to finish my college degree and rack up another $60,000 in debt to be able to have a job that I actually enjoy doing. I'm not going to get into details or anything, but the company I work for is a small business, roofing contractor. It's been really fun to play around with marketing for a, an actual business because the only marketing I've obviously done in my life this far is just like social media, like personal social media stuff. And honestly, I haven't really dug into a lot of like marketing details with that. I've just done like content creation. It's just been really fun. I've learned already a lot. I've only worked at this job consistently, like clocking in for like three weeks. What I've learned so far is what I would normally have learned in like a year at a different place. So that's really cool. I'm also realizing that the people that are like, oh, don't give everything to your nine to five that doesn't care about you I feel like that's only valid in situations where you don't actually enjoy what you're doing if you don't see a future if you don't see growth if you don't see it becoming something you want to do as a full-time career then obviously don't put your 100% into it if you don't actually care about the job. I did struggle with that in the beginning because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna give my 100% to this job because it's just a basic nine to five. But I'm starting to realize that the reason that you would want to give your everything to a nine to five is when you can see yourself growing and getting into a career that you love. Like for example, obviously I'm not the owner of the business, nor do I want to be the owner of the business. If you are a business owner, you're gonna put 110% of your effort and your energy into that business because that's like anybody who actually loves what they're doing for their business is going to. And, and that's really the only way you're gonna grow is if you put all of your passion into that. Currently in this moment, holding myself accountable for being a hypocrite <laughs> because while I really do love what I'm doing with YouTube, I'm not consistent whatsoever and haven't been in a very, very long time. There comes a point where you kind of just sit back and you expect things to happen. Why isn't this happening for me? Why isn't this happening for me? Like, why didn't that video go anywhere? Because you're not consistent. And it's, it has absolutely nothing to do with the video itself and it has everything to do with what you did, like the work that you put into it. I'm talking to myself. I feel like if you are at your nine to five and you're starting to think, oh, like this is actually something that I could see being the future in, of my career. Like I could see myself growing. I see potential for growth because even if you do love what you're doing, it's hard sometimes to be able to actually see an opportunity for you to grow, especially if you're working for like a big corporate company and you're at an entry level position. A lot of times you have to put a ton, a ton of effort, a lot of extra effort and 
you know, step over the people who are next to you to be able to grow with that company. And it's not much growth, you know, it's not that exponential amount of growth. Like over five, 10, 15 years, you might get a couple of promotions or a couple of bonuses or something, but it's not a crazy amount. I feel like with this job that I'm working currently, I have the potential to grow the same amount that someone in a big corporation could grow in 10 years. I could do it too. Because I have been seeing a lot of people sharing and posting, like not putting your 100%, like not doing extra shit for this like nine to five that you have. But that's like if you're working at like Starbucks or something. Unless you see yourself becoming a manager or, you know, working up to corporate from that Starbucks, like, and just like working there your whole life. If, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. Personally, for me, if I was working, like I was working at Buffalo Waters, I'm gonna put in however much effort I think that that job deserves. For example, I was a server. The way that servers make money is off their tables. So I was going to put 100% of my effort into my tables, period. There were obviously with, with servers, there's a lot that goes into serving and not just talking to your tables, right? There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that happens like cleaning and stuff like that. Now, am I gonna put 100% of my effort into doing those things? Absolutely not because it doesn't get me anywhere. Did I have to do them still to keep my job? Yeah. Did I do them 100% to the best of my ability? Absolutely not, because they don't do anything for me. So I think that that's where that mindset kind of gets lost, is when people are, you're talking about this nine to five, like you're, not, you're never gonna grow with that company. You're never gonna get where you wanna be with that company. So that's where it makes sense to not put 100% of your effort and time and do extra shit for it go above and beyond for it. That's been on my mind a lot. It's just the fact that I do have an opportunity to grow a lot in this company in the next couple of years and learn a lot and move up the ranks, honestly, um, in the next couple of years, which is cool. And that is 100% dependent on what I do, where a lot of times with big companies and big corporations where there isn't as much of an opportunity to grow, it doesn't only depend on what you do. It depends a lot on what other people do and what the availability of that position, that next position is. And honestly, how much your life by your coworkers and your bosses and the people that are above you. If you're not someone that they like, if you don't golf with them on Sundays or something, it might not be as much of an opportunity no matter how hard you work because there might be somebody else who is willing to golf with the bosses on Sunday to be able to move up. If that's something that you want to do, that makes you happy, then go right ahead. From my perspective, if you have to do things outside of work to make getting a promotion easier for yourself, it's not worth it. And if you're balancing your work with your work, it's not really it's not really much of a balance. You're off work on Sundays and you have to do more work by golfing with your bosses. You're not really lifing very much, in my opinion. Anyway, moving on from that, let's get into my car. So yesterday, when I got to the office, my car, and this wasn't the first time, my car had to get towed about two weeks ago because of the same exact problem. It got towed to a shop and they were supposed to fix it and they didn't fix it, essentially. So when I got to work yesterday, the car just stopped working again, it dead battery. And you know, the car is fairly new. I mean, it's a 2019 vehicle, so it's not, not like super old. I had to have it towed again last night, but the situation was that my doors are automatic, they're automatic locks in my doors. I had someone come out and unlock the doors so that I could at least try and get it jumped. Well, it didn't get jumped because the battery was so dead that it wouldn't, <laughs> like it wouldn't charge at all. I ended up having to have it towed. I didn't want to leave the car because I had to keep the door open. And in case they needed to get inside the vehicle, I had to keep the door open. So I didn't want to leave the car at my office with the door open alone, you know, so. I ordered a lift and the lift was about to get here but the tow truck still hadn't showed up yet. So I had to cancel the lift. I had already been waiting three hours for this tow truck. So then I called the tow truck company and I'm like, I know I told you guys to take your time, but I mean, I've been waiting here for three hours. What's going on? And they're like, yeah, we'll be there soon. Like give us another hour. So I'm like, okay, another hour. So I waited the hour. And then I go into this app that they give you to track the truck and it says it was canceled. Okay. What the fuck, you know? So I call the tow truck company and they say, oh, it's been canceled by your provider, like your insurance company or your warranty company. So I call them and they're like, yeah, they were taking too long. So we changed it to a different company. Nobody told me that. So I was just sitting there waiting for a truck that evidently wasn't showing up. The warranty company told me that the truck should be there in like 45 minutes. After like 20 minutes, I was like, okay, let me call this tow truck company and see at least if they're gonna be here in the next 20 minutes. So I call them and they say, no, it's probably gonna be at least another hour and a half. I was like, okay, listen. And then he asked me a couple questions and he was like, have you been waiting there with the car the whole time? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, we shouldn't 
you don't need to be there when we pick up the car. And I was like, oh, that would have been fucking wonderful to know the first time. He was like, we shouldn't need to get into the car at all. He asked me a couple questions about the car. And then I made another Uber and I was like, okay, I'm leaving. Like, I can't, I can't stay here and wait for them anymore. So I did leave. I went home. And then at like 11.30, I got a call from another number, from another, uh, like the same area code number. So I was like, oh, this is probably the tow truck company letting me know that the delivery was successful. It wasn't. It was a new tow truck company, a third tow truck company that called me and asked me if I needed a tow. And I was like, yeah, I do, but you're the third company tonight that's been assigned to this blah 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 and he's like well i'm not like other tow truck companies so blah 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 we hate he asked me some more questions and ended up texting me at like midnight saying that car was delivered to where it needed to be so after three tow truck companies in about seven hours my car was finally delivered to where it needed to be, which is the mechanic shop that was fixing my car. It took seven hours and three different tow truck companies to get my car towed. To me, that's ridiculous. Uh, so my car is getting fixed on Monday and it's currently Saturday. I don't have a car until Monday. I guess that's the reason why I'm doing this right now. Yeah, that's that story. I'm gonna finish curling my hair. I haven't curled my hair in so long. My hair's a little bit greasy right now, but I haven't seen myself like actually effortly pretty, effortfully pretty in so long. Obviously I don't have any makeup on right now, but I'm gonna braid it. I think I'm gonna do braids like this into like little bunnies right here. I think that'd be cute. We're gonna get into that. Oh, uh, do I leave bangs down at all? I'm feeling like no. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna do the other side. This is what the final hair looks like. It's giving 2015. I'm honestly, I don't care. So I'm here for it. I feel like I need to take pieces down. I feel like that's maybe why I don't like it because it makes my forehead look fucking huge. It's, it's okay, it's fine. I'm not going anywhere anyway. But we're gonna move into makeup now. Yay. I need something to drink. But yeah, we're gonna go into makeup now. I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. I haven't done this in so long, but I'm excited to feel myself for the first time in a long time. <laughs> So this is the final look. Do we like it? Do we think she's cute? I think she's pretty cute. I love it. I think she's cute. I think that I'm definitely gonna start wearing my hair and makeup, like start doing my hair and makeup again, like a lot again. I think I need to update my makeup products for sure because I actually haven't used any of those products in like months. And I know all of them are like a year old, so. Not a good situation probably for my face, but I'm not gonna have it on for that long anyway. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and comment if you comment i will 110 percent respond to you i respond to every single one of my comments with that being said i'll see you in the next video i love you okay bye